This guide will show you how to export multi-track audio files in Logic Pro to send your music off for mixing. If you have a song that you'd like mixed or mastered, get in touch with the meeting link in the description. Let's schedule a call and discuss how to get you the mixes you need so that you can focus on creating your best possible music. And you can hear some of my previous work on my website, backburnerstudios.ca. When you're happy with your production and you're ready to export your tracks to send to a mix engineer, you can go to the file menu, down to export, and then select export all tracks. Except this isn't always the best way to do it because Logic is going to include every track in this export and many of the tracks that I have here in this session are hidden or muted, which means that you're gonna be exporting and sending a bunch of empty tracks. So as you can see here, it's going to include hidden tracks in this export and we don't want that. So as you can see, our track count is 78, but there's a whole bunch of tracks missing. We got one, two, nine, 10, 45, 78, right? So there's gonna be a lot of hidden tracks in this export and we don't want that. What we want to do is bounce all of the active tracks so your session looks exactly like you have it here. So you may try and shift click all of the tracks and think that you're good to go. But if we check the export menu under file, we can see that the same 78 tracks are present. And that's because shift clicking tracks selects all the tracks in between, whether they're hidden or not. So instead what you have to do is command click on each active track to select them without selecting all of the tracks in between. It's a little tedious, yeah, but it's gonna get you that clean session export that you're looking for. Now you can also use a combination of shift and command to select adjacent groups of tracks, but be aware that in doing so, Logic will behave the same even if some of the tracks were hidden. So only shift click where there are no hidden tracks in between. Now, when we go to the export menu, we can see that it's going to bounce the correct number of tracks. So let's do that now. So now we're on our export settings screen. And the first thing I'm going to do in this menu is to make a new folder for these multi-tracks to live. Now I suggest doing this. So when you send your files off for mixing, you can just drag the labeled folder. It's a good idea to include things like the BPM or the sample rate or the bit depth, just to give your mix engineer a little bit more info. So let's go through each one of these settings, beginning at the top with range. Here we can choose to extend the file length to project end, and this will keep all of the files active throughout the session, even if they're silent. You also have the option to trim the silence at the end of the file so that they'll all still line up at the beginning, but each track will only be as long as there is audio in the file. Next we have save format, and this changes the file format from WAV, IAFF and CAF. I'm gonna keep it on wave because that's what I'm used to working with. Next we have bit depth. This allows you to set the bit depth of the export and typically this will be set the same as your session. I'm working in 24 bit audio, so I'm gonna keep it there. Next is bypass effects plugins. So you'll select this if you want to send completely dry tracks to your mix engineer. However, if you do want some of that production processing to be passed on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is unchecked. Then we have include audio tail. This will make sure that any effects get captured at the end of your tracks. So any reverb tails or delay throws will be included in the exported tracks. Then we have include volume and pan automation. This lets you choose whether the volume and pan adjustments that you've made during mixing should be applied when exporting the final audio tracks. If you've automated any level changes over time in the track, or you have any changes in the stereo positioning of the audio, you're gonna want to click this box to ensure that that gets written to your exported tracks. And finally, the last of the checkboxes here is include tempo info. This will keep the tempo settings of your project embedded within the exported audio files. And it's especially useful if you're working with collaborators or you need to re-import audio into a different DAW or project. Including tempo information ensures that the correct tempo is automatically recognized, which is crucial for applying time-based effects. Next, we have normalize with three different settings. We can have it off, we can have it on, and with overload protection. So when normalization is on, the software adjusts the peak level of the audio to a specified target, which is usually zero dB FS, to ensure that the loudest point of the track reaches that level without clipping. So it's gonna scale up your audio to be as loud as it can be without clipping. 
With normalization off, no volume adjustments are going to be made during the export. The audio is exported exactly how it was mixed, preserving the original levels. Finally, with overload protection, this is going to reduce the level only if there is potential clipping or distortion, but without boosting the quieter parts of the track. So I'm just going to leave this off. Finally, you can select how you want to name your tracks. I like to go with track number, track name, and then with the custom option in between, where I usually like to use a single space so that everything is easy to read. And with that, we can click export and let Logic do its thing. And now you can see that you have a folder of your labeled multi-track files all ready to send. If we want to import them back into a session, you can see how they all line up and play back together just like the original session. Perfect. If you have a song you'd like mixed or mastered, get in touch with the meeting link in the description. Let's schedule a call to discuss how to get you the mixes you need so that you can focus on creating your best possible music. And you can check out some of my previous work on my website, backburnerstudios.ca. Once you've got a mix that you're happy with, it's time to share it with the world. And that's where DistroKid comes in. DistroKid is a music distributor that allows you to upload your music and distribute it to all major streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. Plus, with DistroKid's Mixia AI mastering tool, you can give your tracks that final little bit of polish before sharing them with your audience. So once your music is ready to go, head over to DistroKid to get it heard everywhere that music is shared online. You can use the link in the description to get a discount off your first year subscription with DistroKid. So I hope this video helped you out. Leave a like if it did, and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cause I need some patience, patience to be, to just be, have some patience.